So far, U.S. President Donald Trump has signed at least four executive orders. Seems like he's making some big changes, but those orders are not bulletproof. Here's what you need to know. Presidents have been using this political tool since the days of George Washington. Abraham Lincoln used it to emancipate the slaves. George W. Bush used it to block stem cell research. Barack Obama used it to unblock stem cell research. Executive orders carry the force of law. But instead of coming from Congress, which makes the country's laws, executive orders come directly from the president. Normally, Congress passes legislation. The courts interpret that legislation, and the executive branch, led by the president, enforces legislation. But if a president wants to pass a law and Congress is too busy or won't act, the president can sign an executive order that takes effect even over the objections of Congress. In 2014, frustrated by the inability to get Congress to raise the minimum wage, Obama signed Executive Order 13658 to hike wages for federal contractors. But all of this doesn't mean executive orders can't be overruled. The courts, Congress, and even a subsequent president can get in the way. For example, when Harry Truman issued an executive order to seize control of steel mills in 1952, the Supreme Court ruled it unconstitutional. Congress can also push back by passing laws to neutralize a president's executive order. Trump's order to build his multi-billion dollar wall along the Mexican border won't mean much if Congress won't approve the funding. Lastly, the next president can revoke a past executive order. Remember Obama and the stem cell research? So Trump might keep signing those executive orders, but it doesn't mean they'll all take effect. So some executive orders can make a big difference, others not so much. Uh, this is one of my favorites, actually. Executive order number 13683, signed by President Barack Obama in 2014. Um, the powers of the president were used to amend a 1962 document, really a rule about, about margin sizes. So in effect, it really fixed one word, um, changing the word uh, one inches to read one inch instead. Uh, in other words, an executive order that was used to correct a previous executive order that was all about procedures for filing executive orders.